everybody. Just coming on for a minute because I haven't been here talking to you much. It's been a busy fall and uh, wanted to come on and say I love seeing the horizon lines. I love connecting with you there. And I was listening to a mentor of mine just talking about that one small thing you want to do in your life. We have been so busy, you know, with so much going on and so many different things, our world likes to ramp it up. And even after we have something like a complete shutdown for a year or more, I'm feeling that sense of people tr starting to ramp up again. I don't know if that's happening for you, but that's why I do these, these 21 day sessions to remind us to come back to center and just do that one small thing that will be creative and make you happy. And so with that said, with the horizon lines, if you choose to take a photo and then use marker and then paint and do it all on the same day, if you are connecting it with other things that you're doing in your life, I know a lot of people, um, you know, have a morning routine and they, and they fit these 21 day sessions into that. However it works for you is exactly the right way to do it. So I just send the prompts out so that you have a reminder, something to stop for a moment and say, oh yeah, I wanna take a photo of um, a horizon. You know, I'm looking around in, in my yard. Oh look, there's a little line right there. The other thing I'm starting to notice, and I've done this when I've done this particular class before, is I like to go ahead and play with the markers and not necessarily look at um, an actual photo that I've taken, but go back in my mind and think about what were the colors that I saw? Because right now I'm seeing that blue of the fall sky, the gray of the clouds, the gray of the water, the greenish and golden of the ground, that little golden line at the horizon, the gray line of the horizon. So playing around with the colors that I see a lot. So I have the colors just set out. And then when I'm inspired in the morning, to just, you know, just play with those colors and lines and keeping it really, really simple because I might want to go off on a tangent and make all these shapes and make it look like it does usually end up, sometimes that's really fun, but sometimes I get really frustrated because I, I start to add too much to it. So I wrote to you about subtraction, you know, taking it away. So coming down to just those maybe three basic colors, sometimes even two, um, the horizon line, what's above and what's below, slowing ourselves down, not worrying too much about making it look like what the picture looks like, but just, and this is only my perspective, this is what I like to do. And then just start to play with those colors. And it reminds me of different artwork that I've seen over the years, famous artists' works. I'm sure there's some that start to come to mind as you start to create. Um, but yeah, coming down to the bare essence of what colors are showing up and where are they showing up and are they in your mind? Are you seeing them just in the images? Are you seeing a little bit of both? So keep playing with that. Let me know how it's going for you. I'm really enjoying seeing the images and connecting with you all here.